What's up, Leos? Okay, let's just get right into it. Okay, this is quick, short, simple, second week of September. Very basic, just telling you what you may be going through. The most pressing situation for Leos right now is um, having somebody put a mirror in front of you and you're like, fuck, is this me? Is this really what I'm doing? Like, is this who I am? Is this, is this where my happiness is? I feel like you have gone through something. I'm talking like childhood, okay? That has caused you to be a little bit hardened, okay? Because you have the artificial heart part here. So I feel like you are honestly struggling to feel. I feel like you are a bit callous, maybe, and you've been very hard on yourself, okay? And I feel like you may have been bullied as a child or something, or something traumatic happened to you that you don't feel loved. And that that made you feel, that that taught you a defense mechanism, which now isn't serving you, because now you want to feel and you're unable to connect with people. Okay, we have the hangman and the three of cups in the reverse. With the full at the bottom. You could be dealing with an Aries um, that you're not really seeing anymore. You may have messed up with this Aries because um, of the full. Yeah, you could have been going in and out of somebody's life, and I feel like now maybe you realize that you do care about them, but it's officially not on the table anymore because this person has moved on, or this person, you guys were not on the same page. Maybe when they liked you, you didn't like them. Um, there's a lot of confusion here. And I feel like a lot of families watching you, and I don't think you like that very much. Andale vaca. There's way too many cards. So, there may have been a the return of a lover. Um, think it through, Leo. Think it through because I feel like you you might feel overburdened. Okay, I feel the Queen of Wands. Yeah, you may be dealing with a fire sign for sure. Um. <clears throat> You're a very old soul, Leo, for this part of, um, for this particular group of Leos. You're a very old soul. This may be one of your last lifetimes out here because I feel like you've already gone through so much. You're a very evolved person, okay? But I do feel like you are in a bit of a mild depression and there's a lack of action. There's a lack of um, exercise. There's a lack of self-love because I feel like you've almost given up. Like you're just kind of... Um, Something ended here for you guys. There's a relationship here that ended that's very deeply affected you, okay? But you are working on coming to terms with this because I feel like you're finally realizing that this is not going to work. No matter how bad you want it to, sometimes life just doesn't work. You know what I mean? It doesn't give us what we want. But with two sevens here, you have to eat. That's the strongest card in any suit is a seven. You know what I mean? got this uh, six of pentacles okay somebody could be telling you well you owe me or i did this for you and i don't think you're really liking that leo or you could be helping somebody with an ulterior motive okay i feel like this might be in the workplace okay i feel like you're you're a workaholic you are burying yourself in your work because you don't want to deal with whatever type of emotions you have going on but i feel like you you may be feeling a bit jealous of other people around you because you're not satisfied with where your life's at today I feel like you're blinded to pain because of your artificial heart. You just don't feel what you're supposed to feel. You've disconnected, okay? The Queen of Swords. You're dealing with a very sharp-tongued woman. Could be a mother-in-law. Um, nonetheless, this is an older woman who doesn't smile often. She's probably widowed or she's probably divorced. Really divorced. Oh. Whoops, sorry. Okay, whatever this breakup, this official break is going to be, you need to evaluate the situation a little bit better. Try to shift your perspective into why are we breaking up? And instead of that, just try to tell yourself, well, they're still going to be around because they're my friends, so that's pretty cool. Like, at least I, you know what I mean? you got to change your point of view here because that's not serving you. And this Queen of Swords is just watching you, waiting for you to fuck up. For sure. I'm getting sleepy. Oh, my God.
I still recording? I think I you. Leos, I feel like you're going to get an offer at work or a promotion that you may have missed in the recent past. But I feel like with this promotion, you're going to take it. But you may be asked by another coworker to do something crooked. I don't think you should do it because the tennis space can indicate jail time. Okay? The Six of Pentacles. You may need to accept help from somebody. In particular, this is an older person who really cares about you. Don't accept too much because you don't want to feel like anybody's slave, okay? Mm. Take what you need and leave what you don't need. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm hungry and I'm tired. Okay, my Leos. One more card. Thank you. Yeah, you have the card of vices here. You may have a drinking problem and you're going to be dealt with accordingly. So at work, don't overwork yourself. You're at the risk of a lot of stress that can cause a health issue. Mm -hmm. You need some time off. You got to find that balance again. I feel like you've kind of lost it, which is rare for you. But what I do know is not rare for you is your ability to get it back on track. Do you know that? Because I know you guys can do that. Real easy. Mm. You're going to be required to adapt and adapt quickly. Because changes are coming and they're going to happen almost overnight. One major position, one major promotion is going to trigger you to either move, rearrange your office, buy new furniture, whatever the case may be. Your life's going to be rearranged. And that's a good thing, okay? Mm-hmm. This person that is officially ending things with you, you may even live with this person. They might be getting ready to move out. This seven of spades right here is telling you that the project, the goal, the lesson has been learned. This relationship has run its course. So you can make it more painful on yourself by fighting it, or you can just let the change happen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Work on that this week in September. Work on not having to be in control and trusting that life does know what it's doing and everything will eventually make sense. Okay? I love you to pieces. It's only for the first week of September. No worries. Mwah. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.